So Showbox is back online and again, all of the users are being scaremongered by YouTubers online. Showbox went down and I posted a video to give everyone the facts on what happened and why it may be offline. Showbox then pushed an update to fix the issues and again, people are posting videos online to scare you. I honestly cannot believe I have to post another video on this subject and I just wish people would stop all these fear tactics. So to start with, there were subpoenas issued earlier on in the year to Showbox distributors and the suspected developers. Recently, a private settlement was reached and some of the distributors started to display a piracy warning instead of the download and the service itself went down. Now, as I stressed in my previous video, this settlement was private. No one apart from the people involved know what was agreed. The website showing the warning message was clearly part of the agreement. And the fact that Showbox went down at the same time led to the assumption that it was closed as part of this agreement as well. But this now, however, looks to be wrong. People have reported that an update was pushed and it's now back online and working. They're also telling you that the Showbox servers were seized by authorities and copyright holders and that you're now all being tracked. To start with, this is absolute bullshit. There is no documented evidence of this whatsoever. The people telling you this are just making it up. They've had a thought and fabricated it into a story to deliver to you guys to get some views. They suspected they'd sued the dev in the original suit, but they weren't 100% sure. If they had sued the dev and seized the servers, there is absolutely no way they would be pushing an update to it, providing users with copyrighted material. The reason for seizing a server is generally to preserve evidence for the case and not so that someone else can continue running a server they seized. That is completely ridiculous. As far as I'm aware, this is a civil case. Copyright holders taking legal action against distribution distributors of an app because they are essentially facilitating access to copyrighted content without the relevant licenses in place. As explained in my previous video, there will likely be logs of all IP addresses using the app as all servers tend to log their connection. This doesn't mean that someone is sat there tracking people. So to reiterate here, what happened to Showbox, we don't actually know. Maybe it had some issues at a coincidental time when others were agreeing settlements. Maybe it was given to someone else to take over or maybe the dev took it down for maintenance. The truth is nobody knows, but I can tell you that it's not some sting operation to try and find millions of users for using it. The average user would not be able to afford to pay the damages anyway. The legal fees would cost more than they could ever hope to recoup through the courts and that's generally why users get warnings. The copyright holders are trying to protect their intellectual property and want these websites and apps shut down. They're not going to help access to their content. So the point in this video is that nothing's changed from a technical point. Should you use this service? Of course the answer is no. It's an illegal service distributing copyrighted movies and TV shows without a license. If you're using the service now, is there a problem? It's exactly the same as it was before the lawsuits. Nothing's really changed from a user's point of view and you're not being tracked by authorities. It seems most people using these services are using a VPN anyway. A VPN encrypts their data, hides their IP address, so no one knows what they're doing. Unfortunately, these subjects are used to put fear into users and push them into buying one. While VPNs are great and may have many uses, especially when it comes to online privacy, I hate to see them being recommended using fear. If you do need a VPN, there's links down in the description for the best current deals on the top two VPNs, but that's not what this video is about, I feel users should be given the facts and allowed to make their own decisions. But that's pretty much it for me today, but please just stop listening to the people that just want to scare you at every opportunity possible. Unless someone provides you with information based on solid fact, then it's simply just an opinion. But as always, I'd like to know your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. Have you ever been a victim of these scare tactics or do you just ignore them? But thanks for watching the video and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.